cataractcoach.com. Fix narrow angles with cataract surgery. When you replace a four and a half millimeter thick cataract with a very thin IOL, you open up the angle, right? Now our guest surgeon here is sitting superiorly. I've got a small pupil case there. Wow, that's really tiny. Now here comes, okay, here comes a pupil expansion ring, a different design than we normally see here. Let's see this one being placed. There's uh, one kind of eyelet being placed at the pupil margin. This looks like a pretty uh, big and bulky pupil ring, but certainly it can work. There's the other one, and you get all four of these placed. Just be careful with all that iris manipulation that you don't cause any iris damage or even disinserting the iris from the base. And there you go, nicely placed. Now you've got a good-sized pupil, ring in reasonable position. Let's get that rex is done. Now you got to think of the anatomy, right? Think about it. You do your biometry on these patients, and it tells you what is the anterior to posterior thickness of the lens. And oftentimes, you see patients with lenses that are even 5 millimeters. A very thick, dense, nuclear sclerotic cataract can have an anterior to posterior dimension of 5 millimeters. 4.5 is very typical. And so in a case like that, think about it. That's really pushing forwards on that iris and narrowing out that angle. You know, we had a podcast with Johnny Gayton, and he talked about some of the things he discovered, which is, yes, the best treatment for these narrow angle, tiny eyes is actually pseudophagia, doing cataract surgery. So in a case like this, when you replace this very thick human lens, this crystal lens, this cataract with a very thin eye, well, well, by definition, you open up the angles. Remember this, just doing cataract surgery alone in almost every patient, regardless of whether or not they even have glaucoma or narrow angles, doing cataract surgery in almost every patient tends to lower eye pressure by maybe 10, 15, 20%, maybe 25%, depending on the situation. So it lowers eye pressure. Why is that? Well, what we just talked about, you can open the angle or the drainage angle of the eye even wider. Now, it's important that MIG studies, MIGS, minimally invasive glaucoma uh, procedures, when these are done in the FDA trials in the U.S., you don't just compare MIGS to nothing. You compare cataract surgery alone to cataract surgery plus MIGS. And that's where you want to see that there's a difference. So because, again, cataract surgery alone makes a difference. It does help glaucoma patients. So if in your hands you're not ready to do a MIGS procedure or you don't think it's wise for the patient, you can just do the cataract surgery now. You can do anything you want staged. But here we go. Finishing up this case here, this uh, surgeon's doing a good job removing that nucleus. Let me tell you about cataractcoach.com, our teaching website. So much great material on there, way more than you have on just YouTube. Seriously, the free PDF book, the curriculum series, and remember, check out our podcast every single week. All right, back to our programming here. There's the last of the nucleus coming out pretty easily. Time to switch over to the IA probe, clean up the cortex. Not the hottest red reflex on the side. I wonder why that is. Maybe it's the microscope lighting. But uh, yeah, clean up all that lens material there. Very nicely done. And then put the lens in. So yeah, just putting that thin IOL really is just a magical treatment. And you can have a comparison of before and after. I'll show you the after um, OCT of the anterior segment. And you'll see it's a wide open angle then. So really a neat procedure here. Really will help your patients. Certainly, if your patient has very, very narrow angles and they're of cataract age, you know, maybe they're 60 plus years old and they have some degree of cataract, you know, you may want to think that your first line treatment is going to be doing the cataract surgery, pseudopachia. And now studies have, have borne that out. Studies have shown that, yes, probably the best treatment for a 60 plus year old patient who has very narrow angles is actually just doing the cataract surgery not doing laser peripheral iridotomies because that really may not be necessary. And now we know that's not such a perfectly benign procedure. Like any other procedure, it has some risks. Now, taking that ring off very gently, I like that, beautifully done. Now, this is normal to see some iris iatrogenic damage there at the pupil margin because, remember, this is a patient on a very tiny pupil and you really you know, put in some effort there to expand it and you can get these micro sphincterotomies, a little bit tears there in the iris sphincter and that's okay. That's kind of to be expected. You got to warn the patient ahead of time. This is something that can happen. You can have some iris defects here. So cleaning up here, taking that viscoelastic, beautiful case here. A little bit of iris prolapse. Make sure you solve that situation. You don't want the iris prolapsing there. That's putting a little more viscoelastic, which can be okay, but I don't know if you want to leave it in the eye because the pressure spike, you may want to just throw a 10 on nylon and call it a day. 
you know, the path of least grief. I want the, hey, there's the 10 on and I love it. We think the same way. I'm watching the video for the first time with you, which is why I didn't realize that was coming. So beautifully done. I love it. Here's the post-op OCT. Look at that wide open angle. Iowa in the caps or bag. Beautiful result. So nicely done. Remember our podcast, we literally give away the secrets to success in ophthalmology. I'm totally serious. Check it out.